Hi, this is Billy Bean here with a Flash World News update. Today's date, May 5, 2024, time about 1 p.m. in Texas. Happy Cinco de Mayo Day in the U.S. That's the day that uh, Latinos uh, from Mexico celebrate Mexico's Day of Independence, Cinco de Mayo. We also would like to say Happy Easter in Europe to the Christian Orthodox Church. So some of my sources for this are Hal Turner, Steve Quill, War News 24-7, Canadian Prepper, Alex Cristoforo, New York Prepper, Mike from Around the World. Some of the things I'll be covering. Secret, NATO, Declaration of War. Zelensky on Russia's kill arrest list. Poland is now today or yesterday they began putting down mines and Russia no negotiation they will take Ukraine. So let's get started. I'll begin with the sub sources I have are talking about a secret a NATO uh, declaration of war written, formally given to Russia. Russia then communicated back formally in written form to NATO and Brussels. Yes, we've received your declaration of war. Now, this happened, uh, alleged to have happened late in April. And the reason it's secret is that the peoples of many nations, the U.S., France, uh, Germany, Poland, Romania, the people of the NATO nations do not support uh, sending uh, their sons and daughters to an active uh, hot shooting combat zone inside Ukraine to fight Russia. But the evil and corrupt shadow uh, NATO went ahead and put together a written formal declaration of war, delivered it, and then Russia formally responded to it. Now, this is secret and is alleged to have been, happened late in April. Let's see with our lying eyes. Do we see anything supporting this occurring? And yes, we do. We saw in the U.S. on April 1920 about seven to eight hours of our pilots being given new arming information, our silos going hot. That was re excellently reported on New York Prepper. And uh, then Steve Quell came out uh, with some uh, definitions for us, Sky Master and also Sky King. Sky Master, when we hear that on a public frequency that's also going to our pilots, that's to give new targeting data to open our silos, make them hot, ready to go, and uh, also provide uh, new arming data for our planes and submarines. If under the title Sky Master, when we hear Sky King, that is the signal to launch. And we did hear that for seven to eight hours late in April, about April 19 to 20. That would correspond to this new information coming out that NATO had a secret dec written formal declaration of war late in April. We also then had Mike from around the world, regularly on Pastor Paul Bigley's Thursday night. We know Mike works for the government making a statement that this incident that happened on April 19 to 20 was real. The U.S. was minutes away from a nuclear exchange with Russia. So we see some support that we've seen with our lying eyes. We have multiple sources supporting uh, this new information that NATO made a written formal declaration of war and presented it to Russia late in April. So that's going on. So what else are we seeing? And we're seeing this. Uh, war News 24-7 and Hal Turner are reporting on May 4, yesterday, Zelensky 
and other individuals were placed on a kill arrest list by Russia. What is a kill arrest list? Uh, the U.S. military also has millions of individuals in the U.S. and around the world currently also on the U.S. military kill arrest list. What does that mean? It means that when uh, a military comes to arrest you, if you resist, they kill you. Kill, arrest, wanted, dead or alive, as the U.S. Old West um, uh, legends had it. Yeah, they would put out posters for outlaws in the U.S. Wanted, dead or alive. And so that corresponds to a kill, arrest list. Now, this list uh, it also includes Zelensky plus his cabinet. It also includes Poroshenko and his cabinet. Now, in 2014 is when the shadow U.S. government headed up by Victoria Nuland led a coup against the democratically elected government of Ukraine and put in place Poroshenko. And he was in place 2014 to 2019. And 2019 is when the shadow U.S. State Department put in Zelensky. So all of these individuals are now on an active kill arrest list by Russia. Russia is also saying that they will not negotiate with Zelensky, whom they consider to be illegitimate, and the current election term, uh, which uh, many believe is not legitimate, but alleged to be to end May 20. So it's believed by many military analysts that after that date, Russia will indeed actively pursue the kill arrest list for Zelensky, his cabinet, and also Poroshenko and his cabinet. So that's going on. So we're seeing things with our lying eyes that would tend to support the secret NATO declaration of war. And now we have this on May 5 coming out that France is making a uh, public information saying that they are sending in uh, a group called For French Foreign Legion that comes underneath the uh, scope of the French U military. The French Foreign Legion is made up of individuals who are foreigners, not French by birth, after they serve three years in the, this uh, French military group, they may become French citizens. Now, France is publicly putting out that they have sent, they're calling it French troops, it's the French Foreign Legion, to Slavyansk, and that has happened in the last week or so. Currently, in many nations that make up NATO, there is no support for sending in uh, an individual's nation's military because the people of these nations don't support it uh, for troops to go in and active combat roles. So that's going on. We do have Poland supporting putting in troops. We have the Baltic nations, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, supporting putting in troops directly into Ukraine and France. And France has sent in, they sent in their first 100 of the 3rd Regiment to the Slavyansk area in the last week or so. They intend to send a total of 1,500 and they would go through Poland to get inside Ukraine. Now, recently in my last video, I put out all these nations are sending planes, the U.S. F-16s, and then Europe, a Mirage, and Gribbons, and other type planes 
They're going to be based in Poland and Romania and then go inside Ukraine. Uh, supposedly, they're going to touch down and then fight Russia. Uh, Russia's not going to be blinded by that. Russia will, I believe, if this occurs, then they will take out the launching airports inside Poland and Romania. So I say to the people of Poland and Romania, get ready for hot shooting war in your land. Now, Maria Zakharova, a spokesperson for Russia, is putting this out, and that uh, uh, agrees with many uh, military analysts as well as a majority of the American people who are awake that the current NATO steadfast defender exercise was not intended as an exercise but rather as a setup for war that agrees with the intel that Hal Turner had uh, for certain dates uh, in May for steadfast defender to indeed go hot. So we see that going on. And we see uh, Poland uh, saying it's ended its participation in an anti-mining treaty and now is actively putting mines on the border between Poland and Kaliningrad, a Russian enclave. It's be believed uh, that in addition to actively fighting inside Ukraine, that NATO will launch in this area and also against Belarus. We had heard recently that NATO actually had a coup plan for Belarus. We know that Belarus is backed by Russia and has Russian nukes inside Belarus. And now Alex uh, Christoforo, He's a journalist from uh, uh, Europe saying that uh, Russia no longer will recognize Zelensky as the leader of Ukraine after May 20. We know that Zelensky has done away with elections and has implemented martial law inside Ukraine. But apparently, Russia is sticking to the letter of the law. Uh, Zelensky alleged to be a, a, a leader of Ukraine with a term that would end May 20. I submit after May 20, all bets are off. That's when Russia may actively pursue their list of kill arrest. And this says Russia, uh, according to Alex Christoforo, will not negotiate with Zelensky. Russia does not consider Zelensky to be the legitimate leader of Ukraine. And I would agree 100% with that. Now, Canadian Prepper is bringing this out, uh, that Zelensky is not recognized by many to be the legitimate leader. He's done away with the elections, implemented martial law. And in the last 48 hours, Macron has sent in troops into Ukraine, yeah, near Slavyansk. UK Minister of Defense David Cameron in the last few days said that Ukraine can use uh, UK weapons such as storm shadows to hit deep inside Russia. And this is coming out. Russia will retaliate. Okay, so I put this, I led this flash with uh, that new information uh, uh, supported, and uh, I believe it's uh, very likely, based on what we're seeing with our lying eyes, that NATO has indeed implemented a secret declaration of war to Russia. So now Russia, for uh, in the Black Sea area, uh, have been many, uh, certainly U.S. spy planes and U.K. and so on, flying over the Black Sea. Now Russia says they will shoot those spy planes down that are over the Black Sea. And uh, legitimately, they may do so since... It's believed NATO has 
uh, given to Russia a written formal declaration of war. Then legally, Russia would be within their rights to defend uh, their borders and their territory against spy planes and take them down. So that's going on. So we see what's uh, currently going on inside Ukraine. Uh, Russia in the last few days has uh, put together 500,000 at least. Some sources now are saying 800,000. We know they currently also have a, an additional 150,000 troops still in, in, along the border of Russia and Ukraine. They have not committed yet. So Russia is uh, uh, actively pursuing and breaking down multiple levels of Ukraine's defenses and uh, are with a military believed to be at least 500,000, possibly up to 800,000, is now actively moving to take this area. And this is where the French Foreign Legion are and also to take Kharkiv. Now, since Russia has received, we believe, a formal declaration of war from NATO and has placed Zelensky on its active military kill arrest list, it's believed uh, by most military analysts, Russia will fully commit to taking all of Ukraine in the next few weeks. Now we have from Martin Armstrong with this predictive Socrates software predicting June and July war for the U.S. This concludes my flash. I, I say God bless America and we all need to pray for world peace. I say to my people, remain steady out there, continue to pray. God is in charge. And he is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.